Hey clowns, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today we are playing Fuse to Fathom episode 2 Norwood Hitchhike. Now, before you guys say anything, I did play Fears to Fathom episode 1 on stream, but I do not have the VOD from it to edit and post on YouTube. So, if you guys would like me to replay it, please comment that down below, I'll replay it to post it on YouTube. This episode has nothing to do with the first one, they're two separate stories, so you can watch this one without knowing what happens in the first one. Basically, I'm a huge fan of this developer, when episode 1 came out, I played it, and I'm really excited for this one because I know the developer has really been working hard on this, I've been in their Discord waiting for the updates and stuff like that, so I'm super excited to play let's just hop right into it i guess episode playtime 40 minutes okay i believe that's much longer than the first one also um i believe these stories are true stories but i could be wrong about that i'm pretty sure they're true though let's hop in fears to fathom episode two norwood hitchhike june 16th can i get a year nah all right this happened to me when i was 19 I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it may bleh, 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 but getting it out may help even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I got the chance to, and sometimes even met some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. All right, oh my God, I'm actually driving. Okay, space to get out. Wait, why am I getting out? Hey. Why am I getting out of the car? This seems like a terrible idea. Uh huh. Wait, I'm so confused. Why am I taking stuff out of the trunk? Oh, oh, I'm just stupid. I'm supposed to hit W to drive. Okay, this makes sense. What does that say? 40 miles per hour. Aiden Williams. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna stop for a second. We got a couple text messages here. All right, so we got dad. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, dad. Aiden Williams. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. All right, so we sent our dad the contact for Aiden Williams, who's this person. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You got to do what you got to do. All right, so Aiden seems to be our friend that we went to the convention with, and this seems to be just dad. Just because I'm afraid that the music could be copyrighted, I'm going to turn it off. Driving at night is really therapeutic. Well, at least it used to be. Alright, let's just keep on driving. See, I don't know if there's multiple endings in this. I don't know what to expect. This seems pretty open. Like, we could stop at any point and get out of the car. Like, what if I just drive past something? Okay, there's another. That's a van. Text from Dad. No texting and driving, guys. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Yeah, so I can't actually send text messages back. They're automatically sent. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Hopefully we had a gas station soon. I think I could feel the car going slower, actually. By the way, this game literally came out less than an hour ago, so I'm recording it super early in the morning. Uh, told you to take that flight. Shut up, Dad. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. I'm feeling good, Dad. I'm chilling. No worries. I don't like that I could actually see in my rearview mirror like that. It makes me feel like we're going to get chased at some point or something. Oh? Gas station! Let's go! Oh, slow down. I don't want to crash. Hold on. I got I to gotta pull in here. Good. 
uh, Marcus's driving skills are good in real life, I swear. Pump four. Yeah, let's do pump four. That seems good. All right, this is fine. This is fine. All right. Creepy gas station in the middle of nowhere. No big deal. Um, let's take a look at this car over here. Can't get in it. Nothing in the trunk. All right. Yeah, so we stopped at pump four. Okay, there is somebody inside. Cool. Let's go have a chat. Alright, this looks like a chill place. Select an item. Oh, I can actually buy stuff. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. Hell yeah! Consume that! Wait, hold on. Let me maybe buy gas first. Oh! Hi, sir! Uh, ooh, I don't like the way he looks. How's your night going? Dot, dot, dot. He just looked at me. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, come back. I want to talk. Where are you headed? All right, this guy does not want to talk. That's rude. Let's pay for gas first. I don't know how much money we have. Hey, what's up, man? Ma'am? Hi, can I get a... Oh, I'm a girl. Um, uh, hi, can I get $10 on pump two? Pump two? I'm at pump four. Rip. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge. The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Uh... I guess I should use... You know, I'm going to use the toilet. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. You got pump too. Thanks. Uh, okay. So people have been going missing near here. Near the bridge, I believe they said. Oh. Whose van is that just chilling on the road? That's not this guy's van. And the bathroom's outside. Rip. And one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was raped and murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you for the warning. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who's near my car? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, that's sus. What'd they do? They did something to my car. The guy was next to my car for some reason. Alright, so this is the bathroom. It's not clean, so I guess it's a good thing we're not using it. Alright, I guess we're just getting back in our car. Pump 2's right here. Do I actually need to pump the gas? My car was parked a little too far at first. Alright, yeah, hold on. Let me park a little bit closer. Alright, so there's a lot of sus things going on here. There's people going missing in the woods. Uh, that guy's saying that there's some lady that's in a gown that we'll see, and that she's actually a dead girl. And she might ask that for a hitchhike. And then there's that guy in the white van, too. Very weird. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Holly? Mom? I don't know if you'll find it. Okay, that's just a random car. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Okay, so we'll buy some for that. Oh, we have a phone signal. You can't see it, but it's behind my webcam. It says three bars right now. All right, let's go back in. Let's buy some dog food. 
Dog food, dog food. Where is the dog food? Oh, right here. Excuse me, sir. Can I buy this? That'll be five dollars, ma'am. Uh, no. Throw. Throw it. Throw it. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now it's 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 in there a little better. And now, on the road again. All right. Now the question is, being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Text from mom. Ah, I don't want to crash. Surprisingly, there was dog food at the gas station. You don't need to pay me for it. It's not expired or anything, right? <laughs> Alright, now, do I actually stop for the hitchhiking... Yo? Headlights? How do I turn those back on? Yeah, 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 there we go. Oh, there's someone driving in front of us. That's cool. Okay, if my car could please work, that'd be nice. Alright, this guy's going kind of slow. Hurry it up, buddy. Alright, turn the radio on so that we could vibe out listening to the radio. All right, that car just vanished. Where did that car go? All right, th things seem pretty chill at the moment. Uh, the road turned into whoa, 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 the bridge. We just crossed the bridge, or we're crossing the bridge. So now we're definitely in the area where people apparently went missing. Oh, uh, car headlights, you better keep working. We're not we're not joking around here. Damn, it's not even like a like a concrete road. It looks like it's a dirt road now. Uh, there's a car over here. That's kind of weird. Abandoned car on the side of the road. I'm just gonna keep driving. Whoa, 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 whoa! Rabbit, rabbit! Okay, I didn't kill it. There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh, I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way. Nah, this is a whole trap. This is a whole trap. We're about to get killed right now. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. Yes, yes. But I didn't think much of it at the time. I am actually so stupid. I've been trying to figure out what to do for the longest time. Turns out you could actually move the logs. Wait, no, don't move it back. The car wouldn't start back up. What do you mean? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I'm starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled was. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at this moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Ten twenty-three p.m. I saw a car nearing. Oh, oh, help! Help! Help me! 
Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Pure evil. But I guess they did say don't pick up hitchhikers. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. To be fair, it looks like we were kind of set up here. With those logs placed there? 10.43 p.m. Damn, my car's battery starting to die, it looks like. Oh. Help! Help! Oh my god! Oh! They stopped! Hello? Can you help me, please? Is this the same truck from the gas station? It is! Sir! You're the girl from the gas station. Hi! Thank you so much for stopping! What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I could get a ride? Where are you headed to? Um... Just up the road. Just the nearest stop where I could call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait until I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. Sure. Alright. Let me just throw this back here. Ah, uh, blue. Thank you. Hold on. Let me grab two more things. Oh my god. Wait. There's an Emily's Away logo on the hat. That's amazing. I love that. That's great. I'm done. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. All right, let's get moving. What's your name? All right, not very talkative, okay. Oh, so you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. What? My name's Jason. Ah, okay. I'm Holly. Do to do 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 to do do. What a nice guy. You're really lucky I've had You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery- Oh! The van! The van that was messing with our car! Uh, I'm gonna say I think it was the battery though. Are you sure? It's my dad's, it's pretty old. No, he knows. He knows something. So what'd you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Imagine this actually isn't a horror game, it's just like, don't believe everything you hear. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. It's okay, Jason. It's all good. Seem like a nice guy. I appreciate you driving me. 12.08 a.m.? It's over an hour later. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said, ominously before leaving. Thanks, Jason. See ya. Hmm. Oh, that's not... Yeah, this is totally a creepy murder motel. Rip. All right. Hello. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. The roadway in. Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? 
How much is it for a room? Forty dollars for single. Pay cash only. There you go. Room number nine, right over there. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. All right. So ninety dollars for Tommy to take care of our car. Sure, I'll pay that too. I must be balling. I'm spending money all over the place. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They may not take very nicely to it. Okay. I won't wake anybody up. Don't worry. Key room nine. Okay. I guess I can't pick up my stuff yet. Alright. So it looks like there's at least three other people staying here. Maybe, maybe two because one of these cars might belong to the guy inside. Alright. Room two. Three. Four. Jesus! Oh my god, I didn't expect the door to actually close. Alright. Fair enough. Oh my god, mom. Oh my god. They probably think I'm dead. Bro, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Sorry, Aiden. Uh, oh, I still have no service. Holly? What do you mean, reroute? Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? Dad, I may have to stay by a motel tonight. My texts won't deliver. Damn. Room 9. It was nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell. A type of musky smell you get from old houses. Alright, so we could look out the blinds. Damn, there's no mattress. What? What kind of motel is this? What, am I just supposed to sleep on the wood? Oh, TV! Wow, that's cool. I like that. They actually have, like, Superman on. No dead bodies in here, are there? Oh, this may be a good hiding spot. <gasps> oh? Wait, it's picking up my microphone? That's crazy. Okay. Jesus! Uh, what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. He he he. Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here at Roadway Inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. Alright, so this is Tommy, the guy that was going to fix our car. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. Hee hee hee. I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. That guy's sus. That is super sus. Tommy about to place some cameras in the room or something. I do not like that at all. Alright, Tommy. Here's all my stuff. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What's wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Why does he keep saying he he he? There's nothing funny. But you have a good night. Yeah, get out of here, Tommy. Weirdo. Alright, I'm looking for cameras. Anything sus around here? I guess I'll just get some rest. Yo? Call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. Yeah, no duh, something isn't right. What is that noise in the bathroom? No, I'm keeping the door closed. 
I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Ah, coffee machine. Nice. Let's get a cappuccino. Um, what? What is going on? Yo, get back to the room. Get back to the room. Dad, I can't read the text. My controls are inverted. Get back to the room. Oh my god. No! Was I drugged? 3.18 a.m. What the hell was that about? I was sedated. Yo? Didn't feel safe going out. But I'm pretty sure I just saw someone get in the closet. There's no way I have to restart that. There's no way. What? It starts me all the way back here? That, I don't like that. That's dumb. Hey, yo, wait. This is the person that was watching me from the window? Who is that? Interesting. So you're the person that's in room four. So you spiking the coffee machine doesn't sound too far off. Okay, I went back to bed. Let's see what happens this time. When we see that that guy gets in the closet, we know that he kills us. Didn't feel safe to go out. It ain't safe to stay inside either. Bro, you could hear him in the closet. Nope, 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 not happening, not happening. Oh, someone's at the door. Who is it? Joe from front desk, open the door. Um, uh, I'm gonna open the door. Oh, it is him. Joe, didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Yeah, the coffee machine drugged me. Are you messing with me? No. We don't have no coffee machine here. right over there okay okay here I've had enough of your crazy goons here for once I thought we had a sober guest but I guess I'm the crazy one here no follow me I hate my job yeah Joe dude come on let me show you let me show you the coffee machine oh 
Oh my god, it's not there. This person's trunk is open. Joe, I swear! Go back to the room. I swear to god, it was right here. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. I said go back now. Wait, this... There should be some medication in your room. That should offer some of your relief. Check the table by the telly. Maybe he knows something about the guest in there? Because the guest in that room definitely placed that coffee machine. The closet's open now. I think that means that it's safe. Let's take the medication. Requires water. Ah, oh, no, dude, I'm so scared. Oh, please don't tell me this guy's drugging me too. And now we're just going back to sleep? No. I'm trying to keep an eye on everything. I'm sure that's not the best option though. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are you? Where are you? Oh no. Hide. Go hide. Go hide. Go hide. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help, please. Please open the door. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Joe! To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes.
Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> that was so good. That, that blew out the first one by a long shot. That was so much longer and so much more detailed and the st like that story was like pretty in depth. Wow, I I love that. That was great. That was that was so good. The only problem I have with that game is that when I died from the closet part, we had to restart pretty far back, but other than that, like that was perfect. I'm so impressed. Um, the game link will be in the description down below if you guys want to try it out yourself. This episode is, I believe, $3, but the first episode is actually free, so you guys can try it out yourself. Also, don't forget to comment down below if you want me to play episode 1 again, because I'll play it again even though I've played it already, just to have it on the channel. Also, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to comment, um, kidnapping. Comment kidnapping, why not? Because that's what they attempted to do to us in this game. Shout out to the developer, uh, Rail, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I could be pronouncing that wrong, sorry if I am, but um, great game, incredible, so worth the wait, and now I'll be looking for episode 3, and whenever that comes out. Also, big shout out to my YouTube members for all the support, you guys are awesome, thank you guys so much, and alright, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.